It's so exciting to be back and seeing people face to face again. I was waiting for this for three years and I'm just looking forward to for these next five days. This year we have the largest program ever. The SPC and I, we were trying to have a balanced program. Of course, uh, science is a cornerstone of interventional radiology, but also hands-on. We focus on uh, hands-on training, uh, simulation galleries, uh, workshops, because people, I think, need to touch the material, need to learn from experts. I really look forward to being on stage again, moderating, seeing new people, and uh, interacting with all the audience which cannot be here in Barcelona but rather from the internet from home. So I'm very excited to be part of this session of Women in IR uh, where we were talking about building a team. Uh, this is extremely important uh, in my opinion these days where we're facing very critical issues uh, with many different things that affect patient care. So we will have an amazing group of speakers diverse and talking about what do, what do we look for in a team, how to build a dream team. And I am going to be the last speaker of the session talking about conflict and diplomacy. So what should you expect from my lecture is that I'm gonna give you a little recipe of how to manage conflict in times of crisis or on your day-to-day -day routine as an interventional radiologist with your team. This year's first at CIRSI session will be the most comprehensive one we had so far. My personal highlight is probably what kind of implants we might use when we treat below the knee disease. We will hear about the latest developments with regard to bioabsorbable scaffolds. We will hear about safety of drug-coated balloon therapy. We will hear about the new drug Limus, how that performs in below the knee and in the rest of the peripheral vessels. And last but not least, results of a new scaffold for femoropopular disease will be presented. In the fundamental course on uterine fibril embolization, we will discuss uh, the landscape of indication. So indication have not changed dramatically, but learning from um, the recent randomized trials, we can be more sure whom we want to treat and whom we shouldn't treat. We learn from the data, the very robust data on UFE, uh, that it's um, a good technique, very efficient, very safe for the majority of women. DVT, as you all know, is a very known uh, entity. However, upper limb DVT is not so well known. We don't know very much on that. In the literature, it's not written very much on that. So there's some background information that we probably are missing. And in this session, there'll be four speakers, very renowned speakers, and they'll be speaking on the pathophysiology of upper limb DVT. We'll hear some things on imaging and preparation of the patient. And then finally, of course, how to treat the patient, interventionally or surgically. The CIRSI annual meeting is the meeting we have every interventional radiologist from the world coming together and seeing each other and exchanging. That's make it so special. We should not forget you are the largest interventional society in the world now.